All right, team. Today, we're going to be finishing off the new giraffe enclosure. I love giraffes. They're my favorite animal because their necks are really, really long. Just like my jib. They are. That's great, Lofty. Now, you have to lift all our building supplies over the zoo fence. Right, Bob. And the rest of us will be inside finishing the giraffe enclosure. <gasps> oh, no. This fence is really high. I'll never be able to see the giraffe over that. Can we build it? Yes, we can. There. This should keep the giraffe safe in his home. Look, Lofty, it's the giraffe. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. Uh, I can't see it. If I can just peek through. Lofty. I'm really sorry, Bob. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform and scoop? Can you help them? Okay, okay, Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. No sign of him anywhere. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. If it's the giraffe's lunchtime, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Giraffe. It's working, Lofty. the giraffe. Hmm, I don't know. What about Lofty the giraffe? After Lofty the crane who helped find him. We are good. Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Um. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I... And they're in top gear. Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <gasps> it's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. I didn't know you grew up with horses, Wendy. Oh, yes, I rode them all the time. Wooden ones on the merry-go-round. <gasps> well, Bob, that was smart work getting my horses back. I hope you've got another good idea about how to get them into these stables before dark. There's nothing to it but hard work and starting over. We'll get them rebuilt, even if it takes all night. Oh, Muck. I've let everybody down. The stables would be finished by now if I hadn't scared the horses. A real cowboy would never do that. If only there was something I could do to make up for it. Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Leo, you can take Scoop and Muck back to their garages. At least some of us can get a good night's sleep. Even if the horses don't. All that galloping and now nowhere for them to sleep. Oh, they'll be too tired to even walk around the track tomorrow. Nowhere for them to sleep? Hang on, Bob. Listen, listen, listen. Hi, Bob. 
I got your tiles. Ah, thanks, Tread. I'll be tiling the inside just as soon as I finish painting. It's a good thing I love being busy. So, where are Wendy and Leo? Well, Wendy's at Chef Taddy's revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. She's fixing the elevator. And Leo's at the yard making a cupboard for the sushi bar. Great! So everyone's working for Chef Taddy today. Yep, that's right. He needs lots of little jobs done so that all his restaurants will be ready for tonight's Spring City Food Festival. So could you please pick up Leo and the cupboard and take them to the sushi bar? Sure thing, Bob. I love being busy, too. Oh, hang on one minute, Tread. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. I need a replacement control panel for the elevator. Is there one at the yard? Yeah, there is. I'll have it brought over to you. Great. Thanks, Bob. Bye. Could you take it to her, Tread? No problem. See you later, Bob. Thanks, Tread. Bye. Hi, Chef Taddy. Sounds like you're gonna be super busy tonight. And there's still so much to do. Still at least I've got these balloons up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Now I'll have to blow up some more. And I really need to pick up a box of fish from my harbor restaurant and get it to the sushi bar. I can do that for you if you like, Chef Taddy. Really? You can deliver it? <laughs> yes, I can. Seven, eight, yeah. nine, yeah. ten! <sighs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. Uh, see? I told you I could do ten bucket presses. That was so easy. It did look easy. Oh, hi, Tread. Hi, guys. Hey, Tread, how many bucket presses do you think I can do? Sorry, Scoop, I can't chat. Oh, I've got to deliver to the flying saucepan and the sushi bar. Do you know where I can find an elevator control panel? Leo will know. He's in the workshop. OK, thanks. See you later. Oh, would you like some help? No, I can manage on my own, thanks. I love being busy. I think the penguins are really going to enjoy their new home. Ooh, a penguin. I don't see any penguins. Where are the penguins? Be <laughs> patient, Lofty. Two tons bringing them over now. I hope everything will be ready when they get here. Of course it'll be ready. Ready to start filling the pool. Where do you want this last rock, Bob? Uh, over there, I think, Lofty. I can't wait for the pool to be finished and see those penguins splashing around in it. Watch out! Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, Bob. I was just so excited about seeing the penguins. There's a nasty crack in the glass. Where would you like these penguins? I'm afraid the pool isn't quite ready. Oh, dear. They shouldn't really stay in that crate much longer, Bob. We're going to need to find somewhere to keep those penguins happy while we're fixing the glass. What about the new fountain at the town hall? The one Leo's been working on. Yes, it's perfect. Well done, Lofty. Let's go for it. There you go, penguins. Here's the new window, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. in the pond. What's going on here? I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock hoppers? Uh, excuse me? Rock hopper penguins. Excuse How did you know that I love penguins? Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. 
Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly! I now declare Spring City's new Antarctic penguin experience officially open. Thank you, Bob. Once again, you've saved the day. Sorry, Leo. It's a film prop. Huh? It's made of plastic. Light as a feather. <sighs> I work with them all the time. Hey, Dash! Dash! Carl says it's time for your special scene. I'd better get ready. Come and watch, Leo. It's really exciting. Okay. Hello, Leo. I'm just setting up my remote control cameras. Now, uh, where did I put the remote control? Ah, this is all looking good. Oh, hang on. That looks like it's not bolted in fully. Safety instructor Leo to the rescue! That's better. I found the camera remote. I left it in my car by mistake. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Positions, please, everyone. Uh, Bob? Quiet on set, everybody. Uh, Bob, I just fixed. Shh. Tell me in a minute. Cameras on. Ready, Dash? Ready, Carl! Then, action! Zoom! Boom! Yay! <laughs> Lightning strikes twice! Uh... What happened, Bob? Why hasn't the set collapsed? Uh, don't worry, Carl. We just need to find the problem and fix it. Carl? Hmm... Bob, you don't have to fix anything. Look. You just have to unfix what I did. I saw that this rod wasn't safe, so I reset it to be like this one. Someone press a button! Oh, Leo, I should have told you what we were doing. Anyhow, at least the rod's back where it should be, halfway across. Maybe there's a problem with the remote box. Carl, no! Whoa! Oh, no! Yeah! 